welcome to Friday Literacy. Today we're going to be thinking about some of the things that we've learnt this week, some of the spelling patterns and some of the work we've done in literacy and we're going to put them all together in a lesson all about spelling. So here we go. We know if we need help with our spellings, we can have a look at these shape words. These are available on the first page of our class pages um, on the website. We also have the year two common exception words, which you can find. There's also a, a phonics mat as well. So everything that you need is there. It might be worth, I know some of you have got these printed out and put on your walls. That's a really, really good idea. So today I'm going to be saying some sentences, you're going to be writing them down and then we will have a look at them together. So here are the common exception words I want us to focus on first of all. Let's have a look at the blue words. We can see door, floor and poor. I want you to think about what you notice about those three words. Is there something similar? Hopefully you've noticed that they all have double O, R, and they're making the or sound, door, floor, poor. We could have had those in our spellings this week, couldn't we? Okay, so we've got door, floor and poor. So we have to remember that we've got double O and R for those ones. Then we've got find and kind. Now, if we sound them out, it's find and kind. Now, if that helps you, and I might give you a little bit of help. I might say, oh, find the something. And I might go, oh, find, find the something. Because sometimes it helps you to say it in a funny way, which will help you remember how to spell it. So you've got find and kind or find and kind. And then um, we're going to be looking at three of the um, all signs that we used this week. We've got work there. That's the one where the or sound is making the er uh sound. And hopefully you've seen the spelling lessons from this week. Here we've got AW making the OR sound in SAW. And here we've got OR making the OR sound in SORTED. And you can see we've got Ed here. And hopefully you all remember who Ed is. If you're not sure, just type in Ed and Nessie to YouTube and watch the video there and you'll find out all about Ed. But there was a link to it in our spelling lesson this week. Right, now is your time to practice. All of these words are going to be in your work today. So, crayon and paper, it could be water and a paintbrush and you paint on the walls outside, ask your parents first. Um, it could be that you want to use paint and paper. You can do anything you like, but I want you to spend a good five minutes writing these words. It might be that your piece of paper goes one end of the garden and your mum or dad or whoever's at home says floor and you have to run to the other end of the garden and write the word floor. Make it fun, make it active and then come back to me. Pause it here then. Okay, today we're also going to be using some um, apostrophes for possession. So don't forget this is where we're saying that something belongs to somebody else. So here I can see it's my friend's water. So the water belongs to the friend. OK, there will be some of those today. Don't forget it's apostrophe S and we don't join. Right. Are you ready? I'm going to give you the first sentence because there are apostrophes and common exception words and there might be some more words in there as well. I've made the sentences quite short. Uh, red strawberries, I would like to do at least three sentences, peaches at least four, and everybody else can do all of them, okay? Right, get your pencils ready. I want gorgeous handwriting, just like you do it in school, please, because I have noticed on some of your work that you've been sending me that it's not as gorgeous as it is in school, okay? Now, I'm not there to nag at you, so please imagine I'm nagging at you. Imagine this in your heads. And show me your best handwriting, please. I want it gorgeous. Remember, senders, descenders, sit it on the line. No flying writing. And let's make it really, really nice. Your first sentence is find Jim's coat. Find Jim's coat. OK, pause it here and then come back when you have written that. 
Okay, hopefully you've written it. Let's do some marking. Get your purple pens or any different color pen that you've got and let's have a go at marking it. Now find is one of the words that is from our common exception word list and hopefully you remembered it was find. So if you have spelt that correctly, give it a tick with your different colored pen. You know how to do this, we do this in school. If you got it wrong, I want you to write it twice at the bottom, please. Then the coat belonged to Jim. So if you had an apostrophe, I would like you to tick that as well. Well done if you put capital letter, full stop, and a capital letter for his name. That's fine, but just those two things we're marking. Okay, next sentence now. So change your pen back to your pencil. And your next sentence is, Sal's poor hair is wet. Sal's poor hair is wet wet. If you're not sure how to do the air sound, have a look on your phone name mat, which can be found on the website. Sal's poor hair is wet. Right, pause it here and come back when you've done it. Right, let's have a look. Here we've got Sal and her poor hair is wet. So what are we talking about of Sal's? We're talking about her poor hair. I've, I've snuck in that, that there to describe what her hair's like. So we've got an apostrophe for Sal's. Poor is one of our common exception words that we were learning earlier. So if you got that right, give it a tick. If you got that right, give it a tick. Well done. Well done if you've got a capital letter and a full stop and you saw the trigraph air and you used that one. Okay change your pen back to your pencil and we're going to do the next one. Sam's mum is kind or kind. I should help you. Sam's mum is kind. kind. Right, Sam's mum is kind. When you've written that, you need to pause this now. When you've written it, come back. Right then, let's mark the next one then. So, Sam's mum is kind. He's talking about his mum. His mum belongs to him. So, we need an apostrophe here for Sam. And we need kind is our common exception word for today that we've been thinking about. So, if you've got an apostrophe, give it a tick. If you've got kind right, give it a tick. Once you've done that, change back to your pencil and get ready for the next sentence. The next sentence is, I saw Janet's goal. I saw Janet's goal. I saw Janet's goal. Okay, pause it here. Write that out for me in your gorgeous handwriting. So pause it and then come back when you've done it. OK, welcome back. So we have the or sound in saw. Give yourself a tick if you remembered how to spell that one from the starter activity. Also, the goal belonged to Janet because she scored it. So we need an apostrophe S here. Give yourself a tick if you got an apostrophe. I hope there's lots of ticks on your page. Well done if you're remembering capital letters, full stops, capital letters for names. OK, next sentence. I sorted Rob's work. I sorted Rob's work. I sorted Rob's work. Sorted sorted oh it sounds like it's got the t sound at the end of there sorted or sorted so it's the id sound hmm. wonder if you've been listening hard to the spelling lessons this week right then you ready to mark? Then let's keep going. If you're not ready to mark, then pause the video. OK, sorted. Right, you can give yourself a tick if you've got your row R right for all. But if you've got your red right as well, 
it's making the id sound sorted, then you can give yourself a tick for the ed as well. And also we're talking about Rob's work. The work belongs to Rob, apostrophe S. Give yourself a tick for that one as well. Right, there is one more sentence to go, which I forgot to write down. So I'm just going to have a sneaky peek. OK. I knew it was a longer one. I didn't want you to see it. Right, your next final sentence. I spilt milk. I spilt milk on dad's clean floor. I spilt milk on dad's clean floor. I spilt milk on dad's clean floor. Pause it here. And then when you're ready, we will go on and have a go at marking it. Here we go. Let's have a look at the apostrophe S. It's dad's clean floor because he's just cleaned it. And floor is a common exception word. So give yourself a tick for dad's and a tick for floor. Any that you've got wrong, just write them at the bottom in your different coloured pen. Got a feeling I did a, another one. You'll be pleased to know. Oh no, I need to stop sharing and have a sneak peek. Um, okay, I'm just gonna write that one down. Okay, this is definitely the last one now. So. My last one is I opened Sid's door to find his work. I opened Sid's door to find his work. I opened Sid's door to find him his work. Remember what's weird about that word work when we spell it. OK, pause it here, write that sentence for me. OK, let's have a look at the last one now. Opened. I don't mind how you spelt the open bit, but if you heard um, that well, listen to it. Opened, opened. Sounds like it's got a tut on the end. If you remembered and realised that it had an ed, give yourself a tick. Um, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about his work, but actually, if we look here, we're talking about his door. So Sid's door. I opened, because that's what we've opened, Sid's door. So we need an apostrophe S there for Sid's door. Give yourself a tick if you've done that. Then to find, find, his work, find, is one of our common exception words. If you spelt that correctly, give yourself a tick. And then I did try to trick you here by putting in that tricky spelling of work. If you remembered that sometimes O and R can make the er sound, then you will have spelt it like this and you can give yourself another tick. Any that you got wrong, write them in a different colour further down your sheet. That's it. When you've done that, you've worked your socks off and you have managed to use lots of your prior knowledge from this week's learning. So well done, brilliant.